H&H with Action Gal. This is Pet Monster, and thanks for watching. Thank you, Action Gal and the History and Headlines team. Now, this is coming from readyplumbingwichita.com, and I thank you for it. This is the history of toilet paper. In America, toilet paper is one of those things we tend to take for granted, unless it's not there. But have you ever wondered what people did before it was invented? And how long has it been in use? The answers might surprise you. Before toilet paper, people use, mainly used whatever was free and readily available for personal hygiene. Unfortunately, many of the options were quite painful. Wood shavings, hay, rocks, corn cobs, and even frayed anchor cables. Ancient Romans used a sponge on a stick that sat in a bucket of salt water and was shared by everyone. Yeah! Leaves, rags, moss were some of the less painful and probably more sanitary options. Wealthy people used wool, lace, and other fabrics. Uh, the idea of toilet paper actually dates back to medieval China when a Chinese emperor used a two foot by three foot sheet of paper. Paper has been used for bathroom duty for thousands of years. <laughs> I said duty, sorry. Paper has been used for bathroom duty for thousands of years since then. In the late 15th century, paper became readily available so newspaper was commonly used as toilet paper. I remember my mother joking about the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Oh, and here it is in the article. In more modern times, American used the Sears and Roebuck catalog and the Old Farmer's Almanac. In fact, photos of the Almanac from the 1800s and early 1900s show the book was made with a hole in the corner so that it could hang in the outhouse. <laughs> now the mass-produced toilet paper, the first commercially packaged toilet paper was made in 1857 by Joseph Gaiety. Leave it alone, Sudi. Leave it alone. The paper was wet with aloe and had his name printed on every sheet. It was sold as a medical product and claimed to prevent hemorrhoids. The product wasn't very successful because most people had a hard time paying the equivalent of $12 for 500 sheets. Today, that is cheap by comparison. <laughs> the mass production of toilet paper continued. However, the perforated rolls, like what we're used to today, were patented in 1871 by Zeth Wheeler. The Scott brand made toilet paper rolls most popular being in the 1890s because it was sold to hotels and drugstores. Many people were uncomfortable buying the product because Americans were embarrassed by their own bodily functions at the time. Toilet paper was literally uncomfortable until the 1930s. In fact, it contained splinters. <laughs> In the late 1800s and early 1900s, indoor plumbing and flush toilets were becoming more common. So Americans were forced to deal with their issues and buy toilet paper that could cause clogs or damage to pipes. Another big advancement in toilet paper industry came in 1928 when the Hoburg Paper Company introduced Charmin Toilet Paper, gave it a feminine logo, and advertised its softness instead of its purpose. The pro product was extremely successful and the toilet paper quickly became a necessity instead of a luxury item reserved only for royalty and the very wealthy. Of course, the real question is, does the roll go over or under? Okay, and thanks again to 
Reedy Plumbing Wichita for this great article. I thank you so much. <sighs> My preciouses. This is Monster Chick, and you're watching History and Headlines with Action Gal. Salutations, uh, 
wisdom to share or well, whatever, you know, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like. If you do not like this video, please leave a dislike. Thank you for watching nonetheless, and I'm out.